I am Bill McMurdo and this is Kingdom Wealth Podcast. We are going to be looking very much um, at Kingdom Wealth and its relation to the awakened economy. The awakened economy um, that is emerging right now and forming and developing right now um, is really a reaction to what's going on in the earth. We've seen in the earth, of course, if you like, the four horsemen scenario. We've seen plague uh, with the pandemic. We're seeing war in Ukraine. They're now talking about scarcity, which of course is the third horseman, which is famine. And the fourth horseman is death. But a lot of people talking about the cashless society, talking about the mark of the beast. In other words, you're going to have to have digital... um, entry into the marketplace you're going to have to spend your money digitally your money will be stored digitally and of course that's uh, unacceptable to many people many christian people and others who understand that this is just the social credit system is really all about controlling us and enslaving us and one of the things that i've mentioned and it's important to say again, is this whole business of the Great Reset is designed to make you poor. The devil's job is to impoverish you. And of course, they're saying you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Well, that's just a lie from the pit of hell. We're not going to be happy if we own nothing because poverty is of the devil. Poverty is something that we reject. Um, And, you know, uh, to, to be somebody who's not covetous doesn't mean to say that you have to be poor. Um, So we reject covetousness, we reject greed, we reject manipulation um, and uh, all of that to get wealth because we get wealth covenantally. We get wealth with covenant wealth, with kingdom wealth. Kingdom wealth is where we allow God to make us rich in the earth as we are already rich in heaven. And we do that by various means. And of course, it's not about uh, works or striving. It's just simply meditating God's word on supply. It's just simply receiving that which God has for us and keeping our consciousness flooded with um, an abundance mindset. And, And of course, Jesus said, I've come that they may have life, may have it more abundantly. God gives the power to get wealth, we're told in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. So, We're functioning in kingdom wealth. In other words, we're not coveting, we're not striving, we're not conning people. We're simply receiving the wealth that God already has given us um, and is available to us in in the realm of the spirit. That's why we bank in heaven, we don't bank in earth. So banking in heaven takes you into an alternative economy. And that's what I want to look at, Isaiah chapter 60, which is... We are the Isaiah 60 generation. We are the people who live in this. Read Isaiah chapter 60 over and over and over. Read it out loud. Put it on um, YouTube or, or, or record yourself saying it and repeat it over and over and over. So I'm going to just look at that, Isaiah 60. It says, Arise, shine, for your light is come, and the glory of Yahweh has risen upon you. For the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the peoples. See, Darkness is over the the earth right now and deep darkness upon the peoples. We could just say that's describing events in our time right now with pandemic, war, scarcity looming, you know, gas prices and all that, energy prices shooting up. And um, the the real threat of death through various means, uh, certainly through the first three horsemen. And it says, but Yahweh shall rise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you. What we need to understand is, is that the glory of God is what brings the awakened economy. Now, now, I'm not saying that every person in the awakened economy is a born-again, spirit-filled Christian. What I'm saying to you is, is that the true economy that's emerging... See, I, I, I call it the alternative economy, and I don't like that term. It's an alternative to what's going on. But the economy, the awakened economy that I'm speaking about, is actually the true economy. It's the true, um, and everything else is a counterfeit. Verse 3 says, The nations shall come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your rising. We need to understand that nations are going to be drawn to the awakened economy, to kingdom wealth living. 
and kings are going to come. And kings will come because kings always follow the money. Now, kings here, of course, is governmental rulers and leaders, uh, business leaders, marketplace leaders, uh, leaders in society. They always follow the money. Some of them are going to come for selfish reasons. Oh, that's where the money is. And others will come because if they have a good heart and they want to bless the people that they're gatekeepers and leaders of, then they'll want to see, well, how come these guys over here in the economy, the awakened economy, how come they're doing something that we're, we're not seeing? Theirs is not a, a, an oppressive, dark system. Theirs is a liberating system. See, what's going to happen in the earth is that you're going to have the beast system, the Babylonian order, the, the, the antichrist system of uh, the mark of the beast and, and the digital uh, enslavement of peoples. But God has his own economy, and that's the awakened economy, and that's going to arise. The two of them will, will work side by side. It's not that if you don't take the mark of the beast, you're going to be rummaging through bins and, you know, um, cadging food off folks. You will be the true, the ones that are truly wealthy because the Bible says the, the silver and the gold are mine. So we're going to function in silver and gold and, and real commodities, not um, electronic created wealth, not fiat money, not pretend money. We're going to have the real wealth, the, the true riches. And and kings will come at the brightness of the rise, and nations will come to your light. That's going to be a big light in the earth. Okay, It's going to be a city set on a hill. Uh, people across the earth who are plugged into uh, kingdom wealth, to the awakened economy, to uh, a kingdom finance way of doing things. Verse 4 says, Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather themselves together. They come to you. Your sons shall come from afar. Your daughters shall be carried at your side. What, is, what he's saying here is you're going to birth people. You're going to birth people into this kingdom way of doing things. Now verse 5 is what I want us to uh, jump into here. Then you shall see and be radiant. In other words, you'll be radiating with joy, light, gladness. Your heart shall thrill and rejoice. Because the abundance of the sea shall be converted to you. Um, it says that uh, the wealth of the seas will be brought to you, or uh, the abundance of the sea shall be turned to you, converted to you. Um, what that means is the abundance of the sea is talking about the world economy, the economy, the riches, the, the true wealth that's out there. Um, that is going to be turned out. The tide will turn. That's how you could put it. The tide of the sea will turn and it will come towards us, not go away from a sea. It's not that we will own nothing and be happy, which is their plan. That's what the Great Reset, Schwab and all these guys, that's, that's what it's about. Now, what he's saying is the opposite will happen, is that the true wealth will start flowing to you and they won't be able to stop it. The wealth of the nation shall come to you. And that word wealth in the Hebrew is the Hebrew word kyle, and it doesn't just mean riches, like, silver, gold, money, you know, all that stuff. It also means people. It means multitudes or armies of people. People will come because people, people is the true wealth, isn't it? You know, people are the, are the true wealth. And so they'll come, and as you read on in the chapter, we don't have time to get into it all, but read it yourself and we'll come back to it. They'll bring their money with them. They'll bring their silver with them, their gold with them. They'll bring the true riches with them. You see, when people come, they bring their resources with them. And that's really what it means. The resources of the nations shall come to you. That includes the people, but it also includes the wealth, the physical wealth, including money that they have. So the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto you. The, the wealth of the nations shall come to you. Uh, and um, Or the wealth in the seas will be brought to you. To you, the rich of the nations will come, one version says, and another says, your eyes will shine, your heart will thrill with joy, for merchants from around the world will come to you, they will bring you the wealth of many lands. Now, I, I like that, that that's, that's more of a paraphrase, but really what it's, it's saying is merchants will come. In other words, you are going to see the awakened economy. People will say, they'll have a choice. They will plug into kingdom wealth, the awakened economy, um, as an alternative to the Babylonian system. People, maybe it, it could be, for ethical reasons, you could say, they just I just don't like this system. It's too oppressive. It's, it enslaves people. 
So I'm going to do business in the awakened economy. And a lot of people are already there. They're already going down that path. They're already uh, developing things. Uh, if you go on to, um, you know, for example, Facebook and, and online, you'll see the awake pages and, and uh, the, they've started, um, you know, getting all these businesses to come together and form an alternative economy to what's going on. And it's awakened people, people who see what the agenda is, people who understand what it's all about. Um, and, and there's a guy called Steve Pollard and others that are doing really good stuff there. Getting people to come together to develop a, a different economy so that if you need to buy stuff, you don't need to plug into the system to do it. You don't, you don't need to go to Amazon. You don't need to, you know, to do all that stuff. It gives you an alternative at this moment in time. But, you know, that's going to go even further. And it won't just be a, an alternative as a, well, you've got an option. I think the dividing line is, is going to be very clear. And the people say, well, I'm, I'm not going to uh, do my consuming, do my shopping, do my buying in the system, the matrix. I'm coming out of the matrix and there's an alternative for me. Uh, there's a Zion for me. You know, in the Matrix, of course, Zion was where uh, the people that had been, uh, they, they'd taken uh, the red pill and they had decided they were going to be living in the system anyway. They would dip in and out of the system, dip in and out of the Matrix to do stuff. And you get a bit of that. Folks, I'm telling you right now, Zion is being developed right now. And, of course, we believers, we Christians... Uh, we see the many scripture references to that. It's called Zion. It's called Zion in this very chapter. Um, and, and and it says, let's just read a couple of verses. I, I wasn't going to go further, but I'm going to do it. Your gates shall be open continually. Verse 11, they shall not be shut day nor night. Now that looks a little bit like the internet to me um, because it says, so that men may bring to you the wealth of the nations and that their kings may be brought. So you see, there's a 24-7 thing going on here. That, that people will be able to access the alternative, the awakened economy. And it says, For the nation kingdom that will not serve you shall perish, those nations shall be utterly destroyed. That's talking about people who decide, and nations that decide they're going to run with the Babylonian order, uh, with the matrix system. The glory of Lebanon shall come to you, the fir tree, the pine tree, the box tree together, to beautify the place of my sanctuary. This is verse 13. I will make the place of my feet glorious. God is talking here about his system about his city. Watch what it says. The sons also of those who afflicted you shall come bowing before you, and all those who despise you shall bow themselves down at the soles of your feet. People right now that may despise we awaken folks, people that right now may, may despise us and cause all kind of nutters and, and conspiracy theorists, all of that stuff, it says they shall call you the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. You know, there's a lot of truth in that matrix uh, series because they understood that Zion is is where reality was, not where the matrix was. So we're looking at a lot of stuff going on in planet Earth just now, a lot of deception, uh, a lot of a lot of you know illusions, a lot of stuff going on that's that's very unsavory. The Bible calls it darkness and other things. But there are people who are waking up. There are people who are taking the red pill and saying, no, I'm not, not having this anymore. And they want to live an alternative, uh, in an alternative system, an alternative economy. And, of course, we, the, the general term for these folks is awakened. And so there's going to be an awakened economy that's coming. And it means that you won't need to dip into the system to get stuff. Uh, you, to, and that includes medical aid, medical supplies, everything. There's going to be access... And it's not just, folks, it's not just, well, a, a sort of an underground economy where people are going to be, you know, um, it, 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 you, you'll, you'll barely be surviving. The very opposite. This is Isaiah 60, read it. This is the glory. This is, this is far superior. We've always assumed that because the mark of the beast was coming, that it meant that we would have to be sort of a living in caves and, and, and cellars and stuff like that. No, the very opposite. We will be the ones that are demonstrating wealth, which is why, quite frankly, a lot of people will want to leave the beast system and be part of the awakened economy, 
the Kingdom Wealth System, whatever you want to call it, there's various names, be part of Zion. Um, so it's exciting times, uh, challenging times, dangerous times we're living in, but Kingdom Wealth is true wealth with the commodities that are real, the silver, the gold, the tangible assets. And I believe a lot of that's going to include um, property, land, things like that. So there, there's going to be uh, a head-to-head -head going on. A lot of people just thought, oh, well, the Antichrist system will take over and we'll all be you know, hiding and running for our lives. No, uh, there's going to be Zion and it's going to be far superior, far more powerful. It's going to be, it's going to be light. It's not going to be a place of darkness or oppression. It's going to be a place of freedom and deliverance. So we need to encourage ourselves folks, that being part of this system, being part of the awakened economy, being part of the Zion system, being part of the kingdom wealth uh, way of doing things, is going to be glorious and amazing and wonderful and, and, and virtually heaven and earth and will destroy the bankrupt system and the, the illusion of that system, the, the, the reality of that system of fiat money and all of that and electronic, uh, digital money, all that, that's which doesn't have anything behind it other than it's just been made on a computer. Folks, those days are, are ended and uh, debt will be destroyed and abundance, people will walk in a super abundant wealth and super abundant supply. It's coming, it's in the earth right now, but the more people that get into it and make themselves conscious of it. So uh, share this message, let people know about it and come back and listen to more. And the Lord bless you.